Good afternoon, traders. This is Christian from Hertz, Starbucks Trade Group, and today is Wednesday, July 20th. Well, uh, more continuation to the upside um, after a really nice day yesterday. We had the S&P up uh, about 65 basis points um, today, so a little bit under a percent, but really nice outperformance once again by the Qs and IWM, which was uh, right in stride with, uh, with that outperformance. So um, really nice. We'll look at these charts in just a second. Um, TLT was quiet uh, for the day. Bonds very quiet, up 25 basis points. And, um, and the VIX was down again um, today, uh, below 24 now. So um, interesting. Yeah, so really nice performance for the, for the Qs. Um, that's, put, that's a theme that I put in there in IWM. Um, also, ARC had a big day. We'll go over that chart. Again, very interesting to me. Uh, risk disclaimer in front of you, everything that we're going through is for information purposes only, not giving out any advice or recommendations. Everything that we're going through is for education purposes only. So let's get right to it. Let's get to the charts. Uh, S&P, um, interesting here, uh, if I didn't use that word enough already, uh, but 3975.75, that is the top of valuary. So um, number one, back above the 50-day moving average, that's a good thing. Uh, number two, I have to see this uh, this get above the um, the valuary for me to get uh, more enthused about this market. But um, but very nice. Uh, we've made an we've made a nice move here, and um, yeah, that's what I would be looking for for a little bit of confirmation for Nasdaq. Or the or why don't we bring up the Qs because I know more people look at the Qs. Qs did make it to uh, above value. Right and bigger distance above the 50-day moving average. So I, I, you know, I really liked what's going on here in the queues. Um, 300 spot 67, right, is the level, and it just looks a, a bit cleaner um, so so far than than the S and P. So um, I like the chart. I uh, will see if we can continue to get going. Um, I I also wouldn't be surprised if we started to back and fill a little bit of this uh, this price action. Also, if you're looking for an upside level um, to kind of target, about $5 up here in the queues, 307. That also might be a more practical place where we pause uh, because that is an area of high volume that buyers and sellers have not been back to. Notice the two, um, two weeks here where you had a lot of volume in here. So 307 sounds like a pretty good place um, if we can manage to um, to rally a little bit further, that would be a place to, in my opinion, take targets. And you know, the way that I've been kind of um, looking at this market, talking about it, and by the way, so far we are back inside value. I know we have two more days to go to the week, so developing weekly bar. But for now, we're inside the value area for the year. Um, pretty big uh, development there. Right. So I started to say, this is how I'm looking at this market. Don't forget, we've got a lot of earnings reports coming up, you know, some big, you know, the heavy hitters. Today, we heard, um, you know, a little snafu in the market with Google talking about how they are pausing uh, hiring. Right. That was the same situation that we heard a couple of days ago with Apple. So I, we don't know if these companies are kind of hinting that they might be having, you know, that their quarter is not going to be so hot. So, you know, you could take this price action. And um, as I've, you know, say this phrase quite a bit, but if you've made some money, put it in your pocket, right? You don't have to mess with the unknown, right? You don't have to mess with all the people on Twitter who are trying to gauge whether or not the bottom is in, right? Just take take the money, put it in your pocket, and and then you can deal with the unknowns, right? Um, you know. People who like to argue on Twitter, they they like to you know stress their point about being right or about being wrong. I don't think that you need to do that, right? I think that you could play this as a trader, right? And um, that's what we do, and not worry about some of these big events that we've got cooking in a couple of days. And then of course, you know, people have kind of I don't want to say people have forgotten because I don't think that that's the case, but it's kind of just been put on the on the back burner because we're not hearing Fed speakers every day because. Um, they're in their quiet period, but we're going to hear from the Fed next week. So, um, you know, what are they going to say? Are they going to, um, you know, have any change or are they going to be, you know, full steam, to have full steam ahead in terms of interest rate hikes? So, again, like that's a that's a big known, big um, unknown, too. And I don't think I would want to be like heavy, heavy into that. Right. So, you, so you're getting this nice little rally in growth stocks and a couple other areas, too. And it's you, you don't even have to do the hard part. Right. Which is worry about what happens next week with 
with both of those, you know, with more earnings reports out and the Fed meeting, all right? So this is nice. You, could, you, know, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, right? You don't have to be on edge. Um, so that, that's my opinion. That, that's my um, two cents here in this video is that, hey, take the money. Um, you know, maybe, uh, so again, I'm not going to contemplate right now in this video about what the Fed may or may not do. It's, it's, it doesn't help us right now. Um, so I'm going to move forward. Here's IWM back above the, uh, how's that for an answer? 200 period moving average that also gets above the value area at this point. So now you're, what was resistance is now support. That's 180.14. All right, let's talk about a couple, um, you know, a couple, I mentioned I would talk about the ARK ETF. Why don't I talk about that first? Because it was up 5%. Um, I've been talking about too, and I don't think I'm the only one, but, um, you know, I think this had its capitulation already. Look at the high volume. Right. And if you don't believe me, zoom out. Right. So I know, sorry, I've got a whole bunch of labels on here. Let me take the labels off so that you could see the price action. But I've said this point now a number of times. And if you're a regular viewer of my video, you know that I have. Um, and I actually, I wrote a piece on this too, as well as biotech and um, I think the Chinese internet's too, just seeing very, very high vol volume on those loads. All right. So again, people love to see that high volume to say, oh, the, you know, yeah, there, there was a capitulation there by, by the longs. I mean, this was the biggest volume that, that the ARK ETF has ever seen. So I, if that's what you're looking for, I think you got it. All right. Um, now that said, right. I, I don't really uh, like to go long the CTF. I, I don't really agree with the, the management style um, of how they're, they constantly add to losers, right? Because I'm a trend trader, right? I can't agree with that, right? The, you know, adding to losers is not a good trading principle. So that's okay. Everybody can have different opinions. I don't have to be in this. I could use this for a proxy, but I would say this is pretty interesting to see it get above um, the value area, which is right around, $46, right? And, um, you know, next level up, I think is 51, right? Unless I don't think I see, oh, there's a VPOC up here at 49.20 and uh, up there at uh, 57, right? So there's some resistance, but again, you know, very interesting. And when you look across name, you know, what, what these names did today, you know, coin was, uh, I mean, some crazy moves. Um, Shopify finally had a big day, right? This stock has kind of been absent Right. There's a few stocks that kind of um, just haven't really done much. And, um, you know, even though the rest of the market has been rallying or a lot of growth has been rallying, Shopify wasn't one of those stocks until today and had a monster day up 12 percent. So maybe it was kind of it, it was due considering a lot of other stocks uh, in, in growth. Um, you know, have been moving quite nicely. Um, one name that I added to yesterday, we'll kind of get to some of my names and then I'll get to a couple other ops. I'll kind of go back and forth a little bit with Celsius. Um, you know, there was this crazy, crazy move this day, um, not on super high volume, um, but it brought it in and I added yesterday into the dip. Um, and this was, I think, my, my biggest winner for the day. So really nice. Um, you know, another observation that I kept um, that I've mentioned over the last couple of days is Meta has been really strong from the lows. Right now, again, I, I'm not sure I would want to do anything at this point, but it's just you know a technical range, right? It broke this this little range on the lows and has made a really nice move. It was up four percent for the session. Um, the chips I played Nvidia today. Um, you know, I still think, even though I got out of, because I was just in a day trade in this one, I think it could keep going to 182, right? But this has not been where the strength has been in the, in the chips, right? There's been some better um, areas in the, um, in the chips, which were up another 2% uh, for the session. At Qualcomm, for example, back to its 200-day moving average, um, another strong day uh, in there. All right. Um, I thought that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm looking at some of these plays, even though um, I don't like how this name closed, but Cloudflare finished up about 7% for the day. Um, someone brought to my attention Crocs. All right. Also broke its value area and back above the its 50 day moving average. All right. I think name has a decent short interest to it. We keep an eye on that name. Um, Dollar Tree was, was a winner for me. I took this trade off today. I may have taken it off a little bit too early. All right. Um, I like what Costco's doing. Sorry, I'm just going to jump around here a little bit. All right. Perfectly normal to have this type of consolidation. 
right? Especially after you've taken out one of these VPOCs, right? So high volume takeout. Um, I did start a position today in Costco, right? Here is, here's your version point of control takeout from back here. So digesting, you know, might digest a little bit longer. Um, LNTH um, took another target in this one. Uh, this one actually made it out to new highs, believe it or not. Very, very nice to see that. Um, a couple other names that I've, that I've been talking about, Deckers, right? This is one of our watch list names. Broke value two days ago, you know, closed right at the top of value. Um, uh, ultimately, I, I think this does take out the VPOC right around 300. Um, Florin Decor is another name that I thought was pretty good. It's just been kind of grinding higher. Um, and Home Depot looks really good. And I added this to the TTG trend portfolio today. Um, very nice. Um, I also like Starbucks as well. You know, all of these names retaking their 50 day moving average. You know, lower high back in here and moving nicely. Um, what else? I talked about Celsius, Dollar Tree, LNTH, WWE. I think I forgot to mention that in yesterday's video, but nice move. There were some calls bought, August calls yesterday in this. Um, another one to watch is SE. Um, we've seen, we saw some heavy put selling yesterday and we saw some call buying today, um, a couple occasions in that uh, today. Spot, you could watch basically uh, 81 um, to see if you get a break of the value area. Um, and then one other area too, which I thought was interesting, right? I know kind of, you know, everybody's been watching the growth names, but look at what's been going on in, um, in energy. Um, that gas was up 8% today, right? And retook its, uh, its 50 day, back above its 50 day moving average, right? Just a quick look at, at oil too. You know, oil was kind of, you know, um, un, you know, not much of a mover going on, but it did break that trend line just barely that I've got drawn. You know, it looks a little bit similar to that. So energy names, right? Um, I actually started an energy name today, um, Valero. I'm a little bit early starting this because it didn't break inside the value area. But um, so again, I, I'm a little bit early, but just wanted to put the position on kind of at the end of the day. Um, this Valero is one of the refiners. Um, I also think PSX looks looks decent, although that's had some resistance. The nat gas names look very good. Um, uh, Devon Energy, right, is back inside the value area, back above the 20-day moving average, right? Um, and Terra Resources, back above the 50-day moving average, right? And I know everybody's favorite because Buffett's been adding to this one. Um, Oxy got over the 50-day moving average yesterday, but also uh, moved higher again today. Um, AMR makes it back to its 50 day moving average, not above yet. All right. So, the, so there's some interesting moves and, and, um, an XOP was actually up, um, from the open, right? Again, it was, it finished, it opened the day down. Um, it finished up 2.8%. So not, not the biggest performance overall for the day, but the biggest performance from the open was XOP. Um, clean energy has been, been also strong too. All right, so names like um, ENPH, which I'm long, has been a tricky trade back above the 50-day moving average. Um, SEGG, not yet, but close. Um, STE, STNG continues, so this is more of the shipping. And, I, and I'm watching ZIM, Z-I-M. Right, I put that one back on the radar. All right, so so a lot, you know, when you have days like this, you know, we're going through a couple of different sectors, you've got more things participating, right? The breath has been strong the last uh, couple of days, right? And and you're getting more participation. So that's a good sign. Um, again, we're just going to have to get through some of those big events uh, with a lot more information coming out from different companies. And then we've got um, the Fed meeting. All right, which is next a week from today, we're going to get that uh, meeting. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, nice, uh, nice day all around. Um, if you are not a TTG member, where do you go to become a TTG member? 
right? Um, I try to give members, you know, clues and, and um, you know, a watch list just about every day. Um, and we went over some, we went over some nice moves. We talked about uh, some of those momentum names pre-market, uh, but you could click right here to become a member, um, get involved in our Slack trading room. Um, again, you can see how I kind of set this up where uh, these are all the trades every single day. Um, also, you get my commentary, you get my chart setups, right? This was uh, for, this was the thoughts for Tesla. I, I didn't think Tesla was gonna move much. And I think um, looking at what it's doing and the after hours, I think it popped up to like um, about 775 and it's flat, right? So I was, <laughs> uh, Pretty good for, with, with this one. I also had the, the move in, in Netflix, right? Um, so again, I'm, I'm not a huge earnings player, but um, you know, I thought that uh, you know, we get enough information from Tesla about the deliveries every month, right? So my idea was an iron condor, sell a call spread, sell a put spread. Um, it looks like that's gonna work quite nicely um, if you decided to take that trade. All right, and um, what else did I have here in charts? Sentinel One's kind of an, int an interesting to watch. Um, small cap cyber name. Let's see if we could break uh, break 20, 26 tomorrow. Um, in, into it, a uh, member brought this one to my attention. Um, now at the top of value, see if we could break 471. Costco, we went over that one. All right, guys, we'll end it there. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.